Hi, right, everybody. Uh, it's Paul from uh, We Get Issues Down in New York for the New York Comic Con. I am joined by GB Tran. How are you, sir? Doing good. Doing good. Holding a, holding up. <laughs> How you doing? How are you doing with all the Comic Con madness? Uh, madness? Uh, well, I mean, I gotta say it's a lot easier for us behind the tables than for you guys. You have to walk around, so because we actually have a chair to sit down and we have some peace and quiet. So I'm doing. You know, as cons go, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very jealous of the of the chair situation. Uh, my first question is, um, you know, were there, were there any, any comics that inspired you growing up? Like, what, what made you decide to kind of go down the comic book avenue? Um, probably the quickest answer is actually, I actually didn't start buying comics until I was in high school. Uh, before then, I would just read my brother's comics, and he just had a stash of, like, X-Men's and, G like, Transformers and G.I. Joe's. And, he would let me like read them on occasion, maybe like once every week, because he was very particular with his comic book convention. So, my parents can pretty much blame my older brother for getting me down this path, you know. So, were your, were your, were your parents supportive about about you kind of choosing this career path for yourself? Um, ooh, that's a that's an interesting question. Um, no, I mean to this day they still kind of ask me what I do for a living. They haven't really processed it yet. But no, I mean kidding aside, no, my mom was very supportive like she was the one who would always drive me to the comic book store you know when I was on the weekends and stuff like that so I mean they don't necessarily really understand that I actually am making a living doing this and enjoy doing this but they do kind of support me as kind of like their son being a little bit more you know just doing have, choosing a path that's a little bit less con conventional than becoming a doctor or you know, a lawyer or something like that no, no. no offense to doctor and lawyers <laughs> so much Oh. Uh, and uh, so now, what kind of what kind of what kind of stories are you are you are, are you working on currently? Uh, well, my main project that's coming out actually in a couple months is Vietnam America. This book here that I have a preview for, and that's actually a family memoir about my parents' uh, life in the Vietnam during in Vietnam during the war, and uh, how they got through that, and how they actually got out of Vietnam, becoming refugees and coming to the states and acclimating. So it's it's kind of a it's a kind of a epic in 300 pages. So, is it is it like based on a true story, or inspired by true no, events? No, it's it's yeah, it's all well, as true as these stories can get. Because I mean, it, it is my family's life, and I I did research by going back to Vietnam and talking to family members who are still there, as well as friends who are still there, and all my families who are in the states, and so I would get like various perspective on like common shared family events, but everybody would have their own kind of. Uh, memory of it so the challenge was kind of like listening to all their stories and distilling it down to basically what I think really what happened like say who was embellishing and who was kind of like not and who so but no as far as I know everything that happened is true <laughs> so, now, so now so you're writing and you're yeah. the illustrator as well I did and drew it myself yeah so now you just, you just kind of have like photos of, of people and just kind of try to base it off that or? Um, you know, initially that was that was something I was thinking about like, well, I have to do justice, make them look like their actual real life, real life counterparts. But I think ultimately in the end, uh, to me, like what mattered the most was I drew them and presented them in a way that made their character very distinct. You know, so um, no, I didn't get, I don't think my work is necessarily very like um, driven by rendering. So it's more loose. So I wasn't too, I didn't agonize too much about making sure like my mom looked like my mom when she was 30 years old, you know, <laughs> things like that. So. that I, bet, I bet that began to be a daunting task to be visually yes. kind of accurate. And that is actually one of the criticisms from my mom is like, you, you don't make me look as beautiful as I was. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> Yeah, but so now w with your writing and your art, would you are, do you tend to kind of be drawn towards a, a non-fiction kind of vein, or are you kind of all over the place? Um, I think I'm a little. Uh, yeah, right now, I'm definitely going through a non-fiction phase um, because it's just like the the stories that I learned while working on this project, or they, I just I'm very I'm living in them a lot right now. So a lot of them went into this book, and then like the other 80% of the stories that I had to edit out and left on the cutting room floor, or I'm hoping to do another project that is along the same theme, so, yeah. And do you have any um, advice for people who are writing for comics or, or want to draw comics that, that are trying to get their foot in, in the uh, door? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, nothing profound. I mean, just be diligent. I mean, persevere. Like, I, I've been, the first time I published a comic book, self-published a comic book, was over 10 years ago, and I'm finally now at the point where I have a publisher to, that's willing to take a chance and put out my work, you know, 10 years later. So, yeah, it's just, just kind of nose to the grind. Like, 
you know, keeping the faith kind of thing, I think. Just don't don't give your time to like to ever stop. Yeah, no, that, definitely that that's another. I mean, but I'm sure as you're getting advice from everybody else, like they they cover that too, like. Thing for me, I have no desire of being an, an, an artist or a writer, but I just know so many people who are struggling. So I feel like I kind of want to like get the word out, you know, the like, you know, that it, it's it's achievable. You just gotta. Yeah. No, I mean, for as far as I'm concerned, like it's it has always been and it will always be a struggle, uh, you know. But the, the thing is, the the benefits and the the things you get out of it will at some point outweigh all the the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into it, and you can actually start enjoying it, you know, <laughs> more. Well, GB Tran, thank you so much for Thanks, agreeing man. for the interview, and uh, yeah, check out stuff. And actually, real quick, where can we where can we find your, your art? Uh, I'm just at gbtran.com, just my name.com. So everything everything can be found there. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Take care.